It's time to take a look at the leading headlines from around the world with Paul E. And our focus today, Nigeria marks the first anniversary since the kidnapping of over 200 schoolgirls, tension ease in crisis-stricken Ukraine, and a piece of World War II goes under the hammer. That's right. And Paul, let's start off in Nigeria. It's been a year since the shocking mass abduction sparked international outrage. Has there been any hope in finding these young girls? Well, despite teams of American and British experts aiding in this search, none of the victims have been found yet. Nigerian President-elect Muhammadu Buhari said there hasn't been any sign of them since last May, but vowed the government would do everything to bring them home. On Monday, a silent protest was held in the capital, Abuja, to raise awareness of the Chibok students, many of whom were as young as 16 years old when they were taken by Boko Haram militants. Organized by the Bring Back Our Girls campaign, the demonstrators said they were still hanging on to hope. You know, the time starts. You are in pain that you don't even, to the extent that you don't say a word. People talk to you, you have no answers for them. So for us, we have reached this moment where tomorrow is going to be one year. And it's so painful that sadly we might wake up tomorrow and our girls are still not back. We have talked and talked and talked and talked for 364 days today. So we feel it's time to just go silent and express our pain by, by, by being quiet. A new report by Amnesty International says at least 2,000 women and girls have been abducted by Boko Haram. Based on nearly 200 witness accounts, many of the victims have been forced into sexual slavery and trained to fight for the Islamist militant group. Boko Haram is regarded as the worst threat to the future of Nigeria, which represents Africa's biggest economy.